Hello for the last uh, topic for uh, annuities perpetuity. Okay, so ang definition of perpetuity is uh, this is one where the payments uh, payment periods extend or forever, or in which the periodic payments continue indefinitely. Uh, perpetual, big sabihin, uh, walang katapusan. <clears throat> okay, so it's just like ordinary annuity. Ang uh, problema lang is that it never ends. Okay, so ang bagong formula lang dito is um, present worth lang kasi we cannot calculate future worth because we don't know where the future worth is. Okay? Kasi nga, it continues indefinitely. Wala siyang katapusan. So, it's like um, ito yung payment. Okay? Let's say this is your present worth P and the first payment annuity starts a year after. Okay? That's A A A and this never ends. Dot, 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 dot. Kung saan man yan those payments, perpetual payments, uh, don't stop. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Ganun lang kadali. So, ibig sabihin, yung end mo dito is infinite. Okay? Now, let's um, let's use the uh, present worth formula kasi uh, to calculate the present worth of this annuity, dadali mo lang siya lahat dun sa simula. Tama? And we have formula for that, yung ordinary annuity natin. Sabi natin sa ordinary annuity, P equals A times oops, 1 minus, <coughs> sorry, 1 plus I raised to negative N over I. Tama ba? Tama, tama. Okay, so, ang mangyari, since your N is infinite, tama, that is infinite. Then, ano mangyayari kapag ka infinite yan? Uh, negative exponent, negative n, ibig sabihin, we can write this as, diba ganito? A, I'm oh, sorry. A1 minus, balik tira natin yung fraction na yun. That's 1 over 1 plus i over m. Tama? Okay. Balik tira natin ha, para, over over i okay if this is infinite okay then this term will going to be or oh, this term is a very large number tama ba so if this is infinite then this term is going to be infinite isipin mo na lang na ang laki ng exponent mo di ba ang ibibigay sa ng calculus math error kasi ang laki infinite eh. so anong 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 value nun? If 1 is divided by a very large number, ang limit yan ay 0. Tama. Ha? 1 divided by a very large number, the limit is 0. So, this term gets cancelled dahil yung n natin is infinite. Okay? Then, ang may e1, hindi wala na. a times 1 na lang, and that simply becomes a divided by i. So, ang formula natin for perpet uh, perpetuity, for uh, the present worth of perpetuity is just A over I. Okay? That's it. Wala nang ibang formula dito sa perpetuity. Just remember na ang interest rate mo dapat ay tugma doon sa uh, periodical payments mo. Okay? An example nito, meron bang real life examples ng perpetuity? Let's say you have a bridge, you built a bridge. Okay? You built a bridge, tapos, uh, let's say that bridge is um, going to be maintained or going to be, uh, how dyan? Yung bridge na yan ay gagasa sa ng maintenance, let's say yearly, okay? So, this bridge ay hindi naman mamamatay unless palitan. So, pwede nating i-assume na yung maintenance cost dyan is perpetual, okay? As long as it is used, they mag exist yung iyong annual maintenance, Okay? And let's say you are, we want to invest an amount that can pay the annual uh, annual maintenance for this bridge. So you have to calculate magkano magkano worth P. Magkano nga uh, magkano pera yung uh, kailangan mong i-invest for you to be able to afford that annual maintenance for the bridge. So ganun siya, yun example ng perpetuity. Okay. So let's start solving problems. Wala na ibang formula dyan. Sabi ko nga, ito lang. Okay. So, example number one. So, what amount of money deposited 20 years ago at 40% interest 
would prov- would anyan, would provide perpetual payment of 2000 pesos per year if the annual payments will start a year after okay so very important part of problem solving sa ECO is of course itindihin mo muna yung uh, problem okay so ang sabi uh, mayroon daw perang dineposit 20 years ago okay at 4% interest so yung pera na yun iniwan lang na stock lang siya for 20 years okay now yung uh, magkakaroon ka ng perpetual payment so parang annuities na perpetual 2000 pesos per year okay and that will start a year after so kung sisimulan na kung i-drawing natin yan sa cash flow natin so let's say this is now zero okay your first payment will start a year after so eto okay. and dot 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 it will never end okay at eto raw ay 2000 pesos okay so yan so kung gagamitin mo yung uh, present worth P na formula, saan nilitaw yun? Tanda mo, kapag ginamit mo yung present worth P ng ordinary annuity, same sa perpetuity, yung P mo ay lalabas one period behind the first payment. Okay, so this is P. So, makukumpit mo tong P na to. Okay, and malalaman mo kung magkano yung dapat mong i-deposit o magkano yung dapat mong uh, makuha dito. Okay, so there is a payment dito. P, tapos hayaan mo siyang lumago for 20 years then nung lumago na siya tsaka mo kukumpute yung, uh, yun, yung mga yun okay so the solution here is very simple we just use P equals A over I para dito para makuha natin itong P na to and then we bring it uh, to 20 years behind then yun na yung sagot natin okay so ganun lang siya so P equals A, 2,000 pesos annually, 4% interest. So, ibig sabihin, oops, wala, N, 50,000. Okay? Uh, kung iisipin mo kasi, kung ano yung concept ng perpetuity, ganito, Let's say you have 50,000 pesos, okay? And it generates 4% annually. Ano bang 4% ng 50,000? E di 2,000 pesos. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo gagalawin yung pondo na 50,000 and nahayaan mo lang siyang tumubo ng tumubo every year and kinukuha mo rin ang kinukuha yung tubo. So, ibig sabihin, the 50,000 pesos gets stagnant, okay? And you get to pay the uh, perpetual payments of 2,000 pesos. Walang palya yun, Okay? It never ends. Paulit-ulit lang siya yung cycle. Okay, 50,000, tubo ng 4%, kukunin mo yung tubo. Then another year, tutubo ulit ng 4%, kukunin mo ulit yun. Then it never ends. Okay, so ganun lang siya. So, ibig sabihin, you need 50,000 pesos. You need 50,000 pesos now para ma-afford mo yung 2,000 pesos na payments annually for the next years. Okay? Then, paano ka magkakaroon ng 50,000 now? Mag-deposit ka ng pera na mag-deposit ka ng pera na hahayaan mong tumubo ng 20 years. Okay? And then, ayun. Magkano yun? Uh, pag inatras natin yung 50,000 pesos ng 20 years, and then that's 22,819. Ibig sabihin, you have to have 22,819 pesos now. 0.35 and you let it grow for 20 years for 4% interest annually and, and then magiging 50,000 siya and that money will be uh, will be uh, enough to cover the perpetual payments of 2,000 pesos okay so that's it that's your answer 22819.35 okay and next example so, find the present value of a perpetuity of uh, 15,000 pesos payable semi-annually if money is worth 8% compounded quarterly. So, kar- karaniwan dito sa perpetuity, ang tanong is puro present worth lang. Because that's, uh, that is the uh, only uh, thing na pwede mo i-calculate. Walang future worth. Okay? Kasi pag may future worth, then definitely it has an end. And hindi na siya perpetual. Tama ba? 
Okay. So, dito, pinapahanap lang yung present value of a perpetuity. 15,000 pesos semi-annually. Pero, ang problema, the interest rate, o the nominal interest rate given is uh, compounded quarterly. Hindi tugma. So, syempre, first things first, you have to match the uh, the uh, interval, payment intervals, which is semi-annual, doon sa interest rate. It should be semi-annual din. It should be compounded semi-annually din. So, yun muna. <coughs> Parang ganito lang tinatanong dyan eh. So, eto, sabi, present value, let's say this is P, and the payments will start, of course, next year. Ano na yun? Default na yun. 15,000 pesos every 6 months or every semi-annual. Dot, dot, dot na lang. Dot, dot, dot. It never ends. Okay. So, yun. Gagamitin mo lang yung ano. Yung P equals A over I. And of course, your I, your interest rate, should be for every semi-annual. Tama. So, let's convert muna. Naasahan kung ito ay uh, kabisado yun na. Hindi na kayo nalilito kung paano mag-convert from one nominal interest rate to another. Okay? So, that's uh, 0 0.08 compounded quarterly raised to 4 minus 1. That's your effective interest rate. And it should be equal to the effective interest rate of one nominal interest rate compounded semi-annually. So, that's R divided by 2 because it's semi-annual raised to minus 1. So, if we are going to solve for that, that's 1 plus Uh huh. And plus. I oh, sorry, X pala yun. X. Square. Okay, that's. Of course, the uh, root natin dyan is yung 0 0.0808 because negative 4 is a uh, extraneous root. Okay, so that's 0 0.08. Zero, oh, sorry, that's 8.08 8 amba. 8.08% compounded semi-annually. So, ibig sabihin, mag, ano, ano yung interest rate per semi-annual? Di ba, hati mo yan sa dalawa. So, it's B, uh, it's B. It's going to be 4.04% every semi-annual. So, ibig sabihin, yan yung interest rate na katapat ng mga payments. Di ba? Point, uh, sorry, 4.04% percent 4.04 percent so and so on yun yung ipang divide mo rito tandaan mo ulit ha the interest rate na ipang divide mo sa a is that interest rate every interval okay every period so that is uh, 15,000 divided by 0 0.0404 thirteen Okay, as shown dyan sa calculator. Hindi na sinamin decimal. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay. So, yun lang. Kung kukumpitin mo ulit yun, if you have 371,000 pesos, that uh, generates fifth, oh, generates 4% every semi-annual. Ayun na. May pambayad ka na. 15,000. And it happens... Uh, perpetually. Okay? Every semi annual, nag generate siya ng 4% noon, kinukuha mo yung 4%, then babalik siya sa original amount niya, and then magkuproduce ulit na another 4%, then kukunin mo ulit siya, and ayun na. Okay? So, ayun yun. Kung nag-iisip ka ng ano, halimbawa, nag-iisip ka ng uh, gusto ko, uh, tawag dyan, let's say gusto ko, hindi na ako magkatrabaho. Kaya ayoko na magtrabaho. Sabi ko sa wala, ngayon pa lang, nag-aaral pa, nag pa lang ako, ayoko na magtrabaho. And then, isip mo, pero gusto ko magkaroon ng 1 million pesos per year. Okay? And let's say you have an investing skill. Let's say you can generate, uh, let's say, uh, uh, let's say 30%. Actually, that's a, a uh, medyo malaki na siya. Actually, malaki na siya in uh, investing 30% annually. 
Pero even 100% is possible a year return. Okay, anyway, hindi na topic natin. Let's say kaya mo mag-produce ng 30%. Let's say you invest in the stock market or in a forex market or in cryptocurrency o, o kung ano man. And you make a steady 30% per year. Okay, and, and sabi ko nga, hindi mo na gusto magtrabaho. Gusto mo na lang magkaroon ng isang malaking pondo and then patutubuin mo na lang siya na patutubuin then magkasarap buhay ka na lang. Okay? So, magkano ang pera ang kailangan mo? Let's say, gusto mo magkaroon ng 1 million pesos per year. That's your annual uh, payments, perpetual. Tapos, you can uh, generate 30% per year. So, that's divided by 0.30. O yan, ibig sabihin, kailangan mo ng 3,333,333 pesos. And then, patubuin mo siya ng 30% every year para magkaroon ka ng 1 million pesos every year na panggasos mo siguro. And then, you never have to work for the rest of your life. Okay? So, ganun lang. Okay? Assuming na 30% ang uh, gains mo every year. Diba? If you can do better than that, eh, di walang problema. Okay? Okay. So, that's it. Next video natin is uh, depreciation na tayo. Okay? Uh, papaluwanag ko na rin dito yung uh, meron kasing topic sa ECO na ano yun, uh, gradient, arithmetic gradient and uh, geometric gradient. Okay, ganito. Hindi ko na turing formula noon kasi ano siya eh, uh, napakahaba. Ayoko na noon. Parang ganito. <coughs> Part siya ng annuity actually, pero ayoko nang, kasi mayroon namang alternative solution eh. Let's say P, tapos may babayaran ka that increases over time or decreases over time. Basta yung change niya is ano is <coughs> sorry is consistent. Okay, ibig sabihin ng arithmetic gradient, palaki siya ng palaki and the growth is linear. Okay? Let's say yung first payment is 1000, then second payment is 2000, then 3000, 4000 and so on. Okay? Tapos gusto mo kunin yung present worth niya. Kung makasagot pa man kayo ng gantong problem, that's yung pinapakuha yung present worth, redali mo ng lahat sa simula. Iatras mo na lang sila lahat sa cash flow diagram. Ganun na lang. Okay? Hindi, hindi naman siguro kayo makakasagupa ng uh, problem na 25 payments to, palaki ng palaki, hanggang 25,000 pesos, then pinapakuha yung present worth. Kung hindi mo alam yung formula sa gradient, uh, sa uh, tawag dyan, annuities that increases arithmetically, uh, medyo matatagal lang ka dun. Okay, pero mas solve mo siya. Pero the thing is, um, these uh, cases are quite rare and tingin ko hindi ko na siya kailangang i-cover pa. If you want to uh, study this further, then marami resources naman. Pero ako, hindi ko na i-cover ito. Okay? Because there is an easier alternative solution for this. Okay? Or you can just use your sigma function. If you can formulate Uh, if you can uh, if you can work on the expression that will give you the answer for this then you just use the sigma function or um, yung geometric naman syempre tulad ng geometric series it increases geometrically okay let's say 1000 to tapos next is 2000 tapos next is 4000 then next is 8000 Then, next is 16,000. Parang may arithmetic gradient yung nagta-times 2 times 2 or nagta-times ko ilan man yun. Then, that is arithmetic. Okay? So, hindi siya linear. Ah, sorry. Arithmetic. Geometric pala. Okay? I won't be covering this anymore. Okay? Pero kung magbigay man ako sa quiz niyan, I uh, assume na kaya mong isolve yan. Okay? Kung pinapakukoy yung future worth, eh di, dali mo lang lahat dun sa, sa dulo. Okay? So, that's it. And this ends our uh, discussion sa uh, annuities next week. Our next topic is depreciation. Okay.